ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by it is once again thursday oh wait no it's not thursday it's friday which is apparently our new update days here in warzone post season five because obviously we've got our weird playlist and update rotation now where we have some weekday updates we have some weekend updates it seems like the main update days are now friday which of course is today which means we do have a new update to break down a handful of new changes we got some new previews for some future content to come and we also got some free content now live in game as well let's start first today though with of course the playlist the main uh thing for today's patch now as mentioned we have our new weekend updates that go live basically every friday at least through the ninth which is supposedly going to be the last weekend update of the first half of season five so as for today's playlist update we end up seeing quite a bit of interesting things added in uh we of course have operation last call quads which is like sort of our snd ltm that's going on for the last call event uh so you can go in there and play that it's had a lot of lag issues apparently especially on console uh based off the comments i'm pretty sure raven is aware of that but uh yeah a bit more of a casual mode there we also have standard battle royale duos trios and quads Keep in mind though there is no solos there because solos has its own ltm this week in the form of buyback solos which of course means if you uh have forty five hundred dollars in your pocket at any time and you die you get that automatic respawn so everyone spawns in uh i believe you initially spawn in with the 45 so you should be good for one free life and then after that if you just continue to loot uh you should be good to go and you can keep respawning over and over and over again obviously buyback and uh, stimulus has also been called in the past super super fun ltm so excited that that's back for solos we also have standard plunder quads live on caldera this weekend as well so for all you plunder players uh that'll be there uh for the more casual mode as well moving over to fortunes keep this weekend we just have resurgence quads here so nothing too fancy but then on rebirth we get sort of a uh, a nice surprise and sort of throwback if you will with rebirth after dark or resurgence after dark if you will for solos duos trios and quads now keep in mind this is not the zombies ltm or anything this is just normal rebirth resurgence but it's on the night version of the map so obviously the lighting everywhere is a little bit different and uh, and definitely changes up how you might want to approach certain engagements so we've got all of those modes live from september 2nd all the way until monday next week and then once monday hits of course we're going back to our standard weekly rotation which consists of operation last call quads battle royale solos duos trios and quads plunder quads fortunes keep resurgence solos duos trios and quads and then every day monday through thursday we see one of uh, caldera resurgence quads caldera iron trials quads rebirth resurgence quads or rebirth iron trial quads so we have that playlist rotation happening every day monday tuesday wednesday thursday and of course next week next friday we'll revisit the next weekend update now earlier on this week raven was actually talking over on twitter about a brand new change they'd like to see implemented into battle royale and they're actually or they were it's uh the poll is done now but they were letting the community decide what would happen with some gameplay so they ended up tweeting out saying we love the response to titanium trials and we are contemplating bringing the loadout price reduction at every circle to standard battle royale would this change be a w or an l and uh it was a resounding w for more regains so it does appear that in the coming days and or weeks uh we are going to see a change to core battle royale gameplay where every single zone the price for a loadout is going to be reduced a little bit which essentially just makes regains a lot easier obviously if you come back in zone four from the gulag say your team got wiped at the end of zone three you come back start a zone four it's going to be tough to find enough chests and or players you can actually take out with your gulag guns to get ten thousand dollars again to get that next loadout or you have to sit around and hope no one finds you while you wait for that free loadout in zone five so this reduced that cost down a little bit so it could be way easier to actually buy a loadout uh on that regain in zone three zone four so on and so forth so this in theory should make games a lot more aggressive and competitive late game could be a very fun change personally i really enjoyed it in uh iron trials or titanium trials rather so excited to see how that impacts core battle royale now curiously enough as i was editing this video actually we ended up getting a new little patch note update as well nothing too major here but a few gameplay updates so 
They did make some adjustments to Operation Last Call. Uh, the event tokens now reward 200 points instead of 100. Then also bombs and defuse kits have been re-enabled in the buy station. On the 8-bit Warfare Tracer Pack for the EX1, they made it so that it doesn't look like it's uh, rendering basically in like 7 FPS when you're using the animations on it. It'll just be smooth now. That way it doesn't look so choppy and awkward. On the Supply Box UAV, they removed the Resurgence boxes from those. For quality of life, they ended up making some changes to the gas mask. Uh, it now appears in the first slot of your quick inventory, so you can disable it or enable it or put it on or uh, take it off easier that way. They also improved the text in the settings a little bit. There were a few different bug fixes here. They fixed additional collision issues, as always, on Caldera and Fortune's Keep. They caused an issue for the idle slash unlooted sound effect of the event tokens to be louder than intended. An issue with the Operation uh, Last Call causing the incorrect victory banner to appear. An issue preventing field upgrades and equipment from being destroyed in lava then also an issue with the serpentine perk icon to appear uh even if the player was not under the effects of it and speaking of serpentine they actually nerfed it a bit more today uh it now is only active if you are tack sprinting so uh before it seemed like serpentine was always active whenever you broke armor if a player was using it now though only if you are tack sprinting that is a significant nerf to it so hopefully we start to see some players lean away from that and towards some other options in perk one now, jumping over to the Trello board, we of course try and break this down at least once a week, sometimes twice, depending on the update days. And uh, we're basically just able to see what all Raven is previewing and looking into when it comes to various bugs and glitches, or potentially some new events, which is the case for today. As far as the issues go, uh, nothing has really changed here since we last broke down the Trello board. As far as global issues go, they are still looking into the private match issue. Uh, those are obviously currently disabled, so no custom matches are available because they had issues with those going on. So they're still investigating that and then also in the gulag uh audio is uh sometimes completely non-existent footstep audio gunfire uh explosive audio or equipment sometimes you don't hear anything which obviously is a uh, pretty important aspect of the gulag so they are looking into the gulag audio situation as well those are the only two issues listed on the trello board of course they are working on far more uh bugs and glitches than just that though the main update that we saw to the trello board this week was actually underneath the schedule and events tab because now now we got a bunch of different XP events listed. So actually it kicked off yesterday and is going to last all the way until the 8th. We have a max XP event going on between Warzone and Vanguard, which includes base double rank XP, double weapon XP, double battle pass XP, double operator XP, then also over in Vanguard double clan XP as well. So all the XP to go uh, after this week, like I said, from the 1st until the 8th is when that event is going on. And then we actually get to see some continuous XP events past that. Uh, from the 8th to the 9th, specifically on PlayStation, those players will get to uh, take advantage of some base double XP for a day. Then from September 9th to the 12th, all platforms get some base double rank XP. And then again, at the end of the month, the 28th to the 6th, we're gonna end up seeing some double battle pass XP and double weapon XP. Now that date, to me is a bit interesting because according to the playlist updates the last weekend update we have is september 9th which would in theory mean that on the 13th or 14th we're gonna see season 5 reloaded usually we get uh the double battle pass xp and double weapon xp events for mid-season the same week that the update goes live so uh, i'm not exactly sure what all is going to be going on there as far as playlists go or whatnot hopefully we do get some communication uh in the coming days regarding when exactly season five reloaded is inbound because if it's happening the week that i expect it to happen we also have call of duty next and the mw2 beta all dropping that week as well which could be pretty uh pretty interesting a very busy week potentially but of course i'll keep you guys updated once we have some official information there then the final thing i want to break down today is the brand new combat pack that is now available for season five here in warzone and vanguard uh this is exclusively available for playstation 4 and playstation 5 players this is free though if you do have uh playstation plus i believe and you're able to access this content in game now for season five basically this pack includes a bunch of different content you get a brand new operator skin for i believe it is constans you also get two weapon blueprints the mold wine shotgun blueprint and the noir rose sniper blueprint print you get a new emblem a uh, double xp token that lasts for an hour you get a new sticker a new watch a new calling card then also a new weapon charm as well all sort of like noir themed as well so it's a pretty cool bundle a couple of cool uh blueprints there and uh yeah like i said that is free for anyone on playstation so be sure to take advantage of that but that being said, that is effectively everything that ended up changing in today's new update and some previews as to what's to come here in the future within Warzone as well. That's going to wrap things up 
Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like on it. it would be seriously appreciated. And if you are new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed every single day, I got you covered with the latest news, updates, loadouts, tips, everything going on in COD. You will find it right here. So feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications. And as always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.